And please introduce yourself again and your yeah. affiliate. Then I'll have Kay with you TV okay. here in Columbia. Thank you. Um, what things, if, when we talk about innovation, uh, as you look at the landscape that, that's changing, what's most important to you? What are the things that you see coming where even if you haven't been able to do your analysis of things here, you know we got to have a plan for that? Um, probably three things as it, just in a superficial uh, analysis. Obviously COVID, right? We have to make sure that we have a plan that we're working with our local health officials. We have to make sure that we're working with Southeastern Conference. And so I'm looking forward to, to learning more about our COVID response and making sure that we're prepared. Um, second thing is Southeastern Conference. And I'm looking for, we have league meetings on Monday, of tu Monday and Tuesday, I'm sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next next week. I'm sure that we're going to be talking about integration with our, our new colleagues. Um, and then the student athlete experience and then the fan game day experience. So I really am excited to get to know our student athletes. I want to make sure they have the best student athlete experience anywhere in the entire country. And then the game day experience. Um, I'm coming in, in in August, about a month before we, we kick off, but I, I'm really looking forward to listening and learning um, because I want our fans to have an incredible experience every time they come to this, to any of our games, I want them to have a wonderful experience. So that fan engagement piece is going to be very important. We're going to go to KRCG next. Hey, how's it going, Desiree? Hello. Uh, welcome to Columbia. What was your name? Kevin Ryan. Kevin. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Um, just to, you know, you mentioned about uh, the first woman um, Missouri AD and also the first Hispanic woman. Just to, we'll, we'll take me through, like, you know, uh, Person, just like you as a little girl, in dreaming of an opportunity like that is potentially in college sports. So now that it's come to fruition, what does that kind of feel like for you? I feel incredibly humbled and incredibly honored to have this opportunity. Um, I, in the Southeastern Conference, it's the greatest conference in the entire country. And it's truly a privilege uh, for me to be able to be in this role, but also to provide context um, for young ladies that maybe aspire to, to have a, a role like this someday. Um, and I hope that I, I can paint a picture. And there's been so many incredible people that have supported me throughout my life. And, and I know how important it is as when you're in these chairs to reach reach behind and reach and, and grow that next group up. So uh, I think I'm very honored and humbled. We're gonna go here next. Taylor Smith, Kayla, I'm going around, going uh, here in Columbia. Kind of going off of that. Kayla? Taylor. Taylor, nice to meet you. Kind of going off of that, um, being kind of a pioneer at this university now, does that bring any more perspective for you or the female side of sports, maybe more promotion and attention to the female sports so we talked um, there's something called the director's cup and the director's cup measures the entire athletic department you know what I want Mizzou athletics to be in that top quartile and football may receive a lot of attention and I love football and I want football to be successful but I there's I believe in the concept of a rising tide lifts all boats and when I talked to the staff this morning we talked about the importance of three things we're going to be the hardest working athletic department in the entire country we're going to be the most innovative but we're going to be the best team and it, there's something so powerful about a group of committed people all rowing in that same direction, trying to achieve those championships. And when you hit that, you have a championship culture, and that's what we're going to be about. Right, right here in the green. Hi, Natalie Jones, ABC 17 Sports here in Columbia. Uh, Natalie, nice you know, to tell meet you. Tell us a little bit about Desiree the person. You know, something maybe fun fact for fans out there. You know, aside from being an athletic director. Oh boy. Um, well, my family is is my highest priority uh, in terms of what I do outside of, of my job. Um, I love going to sporting events, and I'm a runner, so I cannot wait to be on that trail. I understand there's some great trails, so uh, that that really is exciting. I also understand that there's a phenomenal ice cream. I have a huge ice cream thing. Um, that there's some great ice cream that's made on campus. 
Yeah, so I can't wait to do that. Um, but I, I'm a pretty, like, I, I love what I do. And this is, um, this is an all-encompassing opportunity, and I can't wait to get started. Haley, City, yes. ABC affiliate there. Uh, I, a little lighthearted one since I gave you a serious one to start off with. You said you're from the coast. I know you're a San Francisco 49ers fan at heart, but the Chiefs and the 49ers are going against it in the first preseason game. It's on Saturday. Now that you're the Missouri AP, who are you cheering for? Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go Chiefs. <laughs> David Solomon with 590 with Dan KFNS Radio. In nice St. to meet Louis. you, David. Juan Choi had mentioned how it's no longer going to be business as usual. When you're coming into a new situation like this, I know you mentioned taking a lot of time to listen, but how challenging is it to get people on board who may be used to generations after generations of doing things the same way? Well, I'm looking forward to getting to know folks, and then we're going to, you know, we, the expectations are very clear, um, but also our purpose is very clear. Every day we have the opportunity to impact and create a culture for student athletes to achieve their hopes and dreams. That's a really, that's an important responsibility and it's one that we have to come with a very grateful heart to be able to be a part. Um, you can withstand the what if you know your why. And our why is our student athletes. We have 550 incredible student athletes and that's what we have to be about. That's what's got to motivate us. So I'm look, we, in order to have that championship culture, we have to outwork everyone. And our student athletes, you know, they come to school and they come to practice. They come to the pools and the courts um, and the fields every day without excuses. So we can't have excuses either. We're going to go over here. Don? Bill Guys, Don brought the Fox Court of Kansas City. Bill? Is it Bill? Kansas City, Don. Don, nice to meet you. Actually, having children that have been through college, explain that is a fake coincidence? I mean, how weird is it that you're here in June on a college visit? And now you're the AD of that university. When I called my, my husband and son and said, I I'm the new Missouri athletic director, my son paused and he was like, I'm so happy for you, Mom, but I guess I couldn't get away, can I? <laughs> so um, so uh, do you ever, did you ever see the movie Wedding Crashers? Yes. Did you ever see that line where the lady said, I will find you? <laughs> no, and that's, I know that sounds so strange. But um, now Jackson is, I know Jackson's very excited, but, uh, and, and my husband's very excited. Um, but yes, my son, uh, we got here first. <laughs> I got a couple in the back over here. Go ahead, KTR. Desiree, Brendan, we see you again. Brendan. Uh, so it feels like the landscape of college sports just in the last couple of months has changed maybe more than it has in the last few years. Do you feel like in this job it's, it's, it, it takes something different than maybe it even did a, a year or two ago? Um, it, it has. It's been changing. It's a dynamic. But you know what? That's kind of exciting, though, too. Because whenever you have change, change just means opportunity. And so I see incredible opportunities. And let's figure out, uh, let's figure out our niche. And, and then let's go take that opportunity. Let's go compete. So yes, there have been a lot of changes. But some of these changes have really been um, great opportunities for our student athletes. Anytime we have an opportunity to provide our student athletes with more, whether it's through name, image, and likeness, whether um, it's through cost of attendance, uh, whatever the case may be, that's phenomenal because that's what we're about is providing that opportunity for our student athletes. So, okay. Thank you. Hi. Andy, nice to meet you, Andy. One of the great things about college athletics is it brings people together. It galvanizes communities when you do it well. So I look forward, anytime when you're fundraising, it's a great opportunity to align something that people really care about with a need and then create something special. So I'm looking forward to getting to know our donors and our supporters and our future donors and really explaining what, what we're about and, and building trust with them so that when we go and we ask them to support us, they're gonna wanna be all in with us. So it really, it begins with people and developing those relationships of trust and doing what you say you're gonna do. Time for just a couple more questions. Taylor has one. Yeah, kind of on a similar note, what's gonna be your balance between innovation, 
with this new program that you're taking over and maintaining the tradition that is so important in college athletics? That's such a great question. Thank you for asking it. And it's so important. That's why I talked a lot about listening and learning, because I want to come in and figure out the great that we have here and then build upon that because you take those traditions because you never want to um, just innovate just to innovate. You want to take the beauty that's already here and I know there's greatness here. I just have yet to, ex to discover it. And then, and then build upon it and figure out how do we make this even better just together. I've got two more questions. <laughs> I'm going to go here and then Ben will be the last one. Natalie again. Uh, Natalie. On a bit of a lighter note, you know, what are the next few weeks look like? You mentioned a lot of conversations, but if you guys made the full move to Columbia, you know, how, how quick is that going? So I am coming, I have SEC AD meetings uh, Monday through Wednesday of next week. So I will be in, uh, in Asheville, North Carolina for a SEC meetings. And then I'll go back to Las Vegas for, for two or three days. And then I'm coming the following week and, and I'm moving here because I want to get started. And we have football season and we have volleyball and all of our sports kicking off and starting off. So it, I, I'm going to be here in about two weeks. We've got to create a great game day atmosphere. We've got to make it really easy for people to buy season tickets. And then we've got to say thank you. Um, we've got to create a reason for people to care. And I know that Missouri is this, it's this whole state. So I'm looking forward to getting out. We have 114 counties plus and St. Louis. And so I'm looking forward to getting out and talking about the greatness that I see here. And we want people to really get to know our student athletes and get to know our coaches. We have 115 young men down there that are going to work so incredibly hard. And we're, I know Coach and his entire staff is working very hard, and I'm going to work very hard to make people proud. So I'm going to, I want to make sure that they know they've got a place here at Mizzou. We're going to take one last question over here. Final question. Oh, so when will you Determination is going to be critical, um, but like I said, we're going to have a group of selfless, smart, hard workers, and people want to be a part of something special. So let's, we all want to belong. So let's build something that people want to belong to that's really special and we can all be proud. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be in touch. I have several requests for individual interviews. We will fill those as we can.